everyone. It is Rabbi Nichols with your daily check-in from Temple Israel. It is difficult to not be together, but I am grateful for technology to be able to be in one another's lives despite our physical distance. Whether you are home alone or home with family, we hope that you are taking care of yourself, both physically and mentally. We are living through difficult times. Over the last couple of weeks, many people have used the phrase, this too shall pass. In Hebrew, Gam ze Ya'avor. On my very first Yom Kippur at Temple Israel, I told the Jewish folktale from which this phrase originates. It seems appropriate to tell it again today. King Solomon had a servant in his castle who could do anything. And it had started to become a problem because the, because the other servants were jealous. They saw that this servant could do everything and King Solomon was always asking him first. Solomon decided to make up a task that the servant would not be able to complete. And the king thought that that would stop the others from being jealous. So he called the servant in and he made up a story. He told him that there was a ring somewhere in the world and that when you wore it, when you were sad, it would make you happy. And when you were happy, it would make you sad. The servant promised that he would find it and Solomon gave him one month for the task. The servant set off on a mission and after the first mission, he found nothing. The second, nothing. The third, the fourth, the fifth, nothing. Three weeks had gone by and the servant was starting to panic. He was looking for the ring at all times of day, walking from town to town, knocking on every door. He wasn't sleeping, he wasn't eating. So it's the night before he's supposed to return to the palace and he comes back to Jerusalem. He is so embarrassed that he has not found the ring and doesn't know how, he'll, how he will face the king to share his failure. So he wanders through Jerusalem that night one last time and he finds himself in a dark and dirty area. It's crowded and dusty and he wanders into a tiny jewelry store run by an old, old man. He thinks to himself, if I haven't found the magic ring, maybe I should at least bring the king a ring of some kind. So he asks the jeweler, can you make me a ring? And the jeweler says, of course, of course I can make you a ring. Is there a specific ring that you want? So the servant explains, I'm supposed to find a ring that when you're happy, you're sad. And when you're sad, the ring makes you happy. Can you make it? The man thinks for a minute, nods his head, runs in the back, and the servant can see that he is shaping a piece of silver into a ring and then write something on it in Hebrew. Now this servant didn't know how to read, so he had no idea what the ring said. He just prayed that it would work. He took the ring into the palace the next morning and hundreds of people were gathered to see it. The servant was terrified. He had never ever failed the king before. So King Solomon leaned down and said, did you get it? And all the servant could say as he held out the ring was, I hope so. The king reached for the ring. He was so happy the servant had found him such a ring. But when the king put it on, he suddenly became sad. And he knew this was the right ring. The servant had found the ring. The happy king would become sad and a sad king would become happy. Everyone rushed to see what the ring said. And on the ring they read, Gam ze Ya'avor, this too shall pass. This too shall pass is a phrase that can help us in any situation. If we are having a bad day, Gam ze Ya'avor helps remind us that things will change. And if we're having a good day, Gam ze Ya'avor, this too shall pass, helps remind us to appreciate the day. Things may not stay that way forever, so we should appreciate them and show our gratitude. So today, Gamza Ya'avor brings me hope.
a reminder that the difficulties caused in our lives and across the world by the coronavirus, they will pass. We can't be sure when, we can't be sure what we will lose, but gamza ya'avor, this too shall pass. So in the coming days, when you are feeling lonely or stir crazy, when you're feeling anxious or sad, when you desperately want to be around other people, or when you desperately want to be alone from the people in your house, give yourself a little bit of hope by remembering Solomon's ring. Gamze ya'avor, this too shall pass.